If we would like to have any hope in stopping bitterness, we need to recognize it in its more subtle forms. By the time bitterness has fully developed, it has become like a large, well-established tree that is impossible to bring down. At this point, you are no longer living your life with freedom and enthusiasm. You are living your life, negotiating your path, and conducting your relationships as a victim. There are benefits of being a victim. The attention received from the stories of injustice and the sense of freedom from personal responsibility. But this benefit comes at the steep cost of a deep sense of powerlessness and a growing isolation. A victim lives in a cold, dark prison they have created with their own hands. If you live as a victim, you have thrown away your opportunity to give your life direction and meaning. You can no longer live deliberately. You are now a slave to your bitterness. We need to recognize the roots of bitterness and destroy them before they have a chance of developing into that well-rooted tree. In this episode, I will be looking at the aggressive roots of bitterness. In the book of Hebrews in the New Testament, we are encouraged to watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Be on your guard. These roots have corrupting power and they present in a very subtle manner. Do not forget about bitterness. It will eat you alive. Bitterness is the internalization and personalization of a perceived injustice with a persistent and intense rumination about the injustice or the agent of the perceived injustice, resulting in more damage caused by the bitterness than could ever be caused by the injustice. You want to stop the progress towards bitterness as soon as you can. The following is a list of some of the early roots of bitterness. Learn to recognize them early and get rid of them before they make you a bitter victim. You know what they look and feel like in their maturity. This is not intended to be a complete list. It is just a list of some of the more common aggressive roots of bitterness. The one thing all these roots share in common is their source. All roots of bitterness come from greed. One of the early aggressive roots of bitterness is called haughtiness. Haughtiness is where you place a very high value on how you do things. You are convinced that your way of doing things is the only way. Haughtiness is lived out as my way or the highway. This occurs when there is an imbalance in what you do and how you do it. If you are insecure in what you have done or think that what you have done will be viewed as insufficient by others, then you are likely to focus on how you do things, and this may result in haughtiness. Others perceive haughty people as being meddlers or micromanagers. Ongoing haughtiness will leave you socially isolated and eventually bitter. Another aggressive root of bitterness is anger. Anger is an intense emotion. It involves a strong, uncomfortable, and hostile response to a perceived threat or hurt. Anger can occur when a person feels their boundaries are being violated. Modern psychologists view anger as a primary, natural, and mature emotion is experienced by virtually all humans at times, and as something that has functional value for survival. Anger is seen as a supportive mechanism to show a person that something is wrong and requires changing. Anger can mobilize psychological resources for corrective action. Uncontrolled anger can, however, negatively affect personal or social well-being and negatively impact those around you. When it comes to anger, 
three types of anger are recognized. Firstly, there is hasty and sudden anger that is connected to the impulse for self-preservation. This form of anger is episodic. Secondly, there is deliberate anger, which is a reaction to perceived deliberate harm or unfair treatment by others. This form of anger is also episodic. Thirdly, there is dispositional anger, which is more of a character trait. The individual with dispositional anger is angry all of the time. Anger causes a reduction in cognitive ability and interferes with the accurate processing of external stimuli. In other words, when you are angry, you cannot think clearly or accurately evaluate your surroundings. Dangers seem smaller, actions seem less risky, ventures seem more likely to succeed, and unfortunate events seem less likely. Angry people are more likely to make risky decisions and make less realistic assessments. To be chronically angry drains your resilience and can lead to bitterness. Another aggressive root of bitterness is hatred. Hatred is anger, disgust, animosity, or resentment directed against a certain group, individuals, objects, or ideas. Hatred is anger with a target. It will drain your resilience and leave you bitterness. bitter. Another root of bitterness is vengefulness. Vengefulness is anger and hatred directed at a target with a plan to carry out an act to correct a perceived injustice with no regard for the law. It is used to punish a wrong by going outside the law. Vengefulness will not only drain your resilience tank, but it will leave you angry and bitter. It may also leave you in jail. Another more subtle yet aggressive root of bitterness is deception. Deception is a way of attempting to gain power over someone else. It is a manipulation of the truth to create an impression of superiority. Deception comes from a deep feeling of insecurity that constantly informs us that if people really knew who we were, that they would immediately reject us. I deceive you to make you believe that I am someone that I am not. In the process, all I am doing is defining myself as a liar and that I am not to be trusted. Deception comes in many forms. It can appear as speech or silence, actions or inactions, a facial expression, an association, or a disassociation. Deception is a false image. There are many degrees of deception. A lot of what we do is purposeful in that we are creating an image of how we would like to be seen. Most often, this image is a fabrication or a twisting of reality. From the way we comb our hair or don't comb our hair to the car we drive, most of our actions and words have a purpose. We are constantly being deceived and we are constantly deceiving. Is there a sincere person anywhere? Where are the authentic people? Is all deception immoral? What forms of deception are harmful? What forms of deception could be called a root of bitterness? Is there a moral manipulation of the truth that can be used for the greater good? Philosophers and theologians have pondered these questions for millennia. The deception that is motivated by insecurity will lead to all sorts of actions and words to project an image acceptable to others. This type of deception is called pretense. Pretense is affirmation seeking deception. I will deal with pretense more completely in another presentation. Pretense will more likely cause exhaustion and depression than lead to bitterness. The deception that is motivated by greed is the type of deception that will eventually leave the actor bitter. This type of greedy deception is delusion through false hope. This type of deceiver is well aware of human frailties and insecurities. 
if I can promise you that a small act on your part will provide a solution for fear or insecurity, then you will be easily deceived. Greed-motivated deception is a very destructive form of deception. It will leave the deceiver empty and the deceived angry and bitter. Destructive deception is a matter of motive, but we need to be very careful or else we are likely to deceive ourselves, thinking our motives are pure when they are rooted in greed. Greed-seeking deception will eventually be destructive. It will leave you empty because the affirmation gained through deception never satisfies. It is affirmation for a fraudulently projected image. The image is not real and the affirmation is not real. It may take a long time, but the truth will eventually surface and the deception will be uncovered. In the end, you will be exhausted and bitter. In conclusion, do not forget, greed is the ugly reality behind all the roots of bitterness. Greed and bitterness will destroy you. Be on your guard. Stop the roots of bitterness before they develop and define you. Bitterness will kill you. For references and additional information, please visit the FracturedResilience.com website. And for updates on new videos, subscribe to the Fractured Resilience YouTube channel. Thank you.